Load rank adaptation models, namely Loda, have make it super easy using custom models in stable diffusion. We no longer need to depend on two gigs, three gigs, even five to six giga gigabyte size of heavy checkpoint files to get a custom model trained or use the custom design model. The size of Loda models vary from somewhere around. 15 to 18 megabytes to 150 or 200 megabytes. In this tutorial, we are gonna learn how you can start using any LoRa model within a matter of seconds or a few minutes. Let's go to stable diffusion extensions. You can see the LoRa models are already built in there if you are using latest version of automatic 11.11. If not, you can just go to GitHub and install the latest version of automatic 11.11 to get the built-in LoRa support. Now you need to get yourself some LoRa model files. You can go to somewhere like Civit AI. Here we have the option to specify which type of files we want. And if we click on Loda, it shoots up all the Loda models that are available right here. You can go to any of those models, download the file, copy the file from there. Now go to your stable diffusion OBY folder, models, Loda, and paste it here. Now go back to your stable diffusion and hit on apply and restart UI. Once we get back to our home page, click on this button here select loda and you should start seeing the loda model here but in this case as we can see that the loda model is not yet available here let's close the window close the stable diffusion command box and restart the stable diffusion OBY. you can see that this loda is available right here now let's write up nice prompt and click on this loda model to include this in our prompt hit generate and you can see the 3d model effects of that loda is already applied on this image if you want to learn even more about tips and tricks of stable diffusion you can just click this link here.